is a carrier water source heat pump is a of unknown working status uh, it's not too old and I know that the area it was in was not occupied for very long after it was installed before it was vacated so it has definitely has low hours on it uh, but we need to test it before we can uh, deem it worthy of being put back in the ceiling somewhere um, so whoever disconnected this kind of Kind of butchered this stuff up, but uh, circuit setter is still intact and hose got a little kinked, but this one this one got cut for some reason. So I'm gonna pull that screener off and use it somewhere else. And drop my phone. Also, anyways, so uh, I'm going to take the plums off of this which are really super nicely installed, as you can see. Just absolute top-notch work. Um, so yeah, I get the plums off and we'll take it down to the shop and I'll hook it up to water and power and see, uh, see how she works. Okay, we got the unit in the shop here and uh, kind of shakily hooked up to water and power. Uh, not really the way I had it designed to work originally, but we have a lot of other junk in here at the moment and we still need to do this so uh, we're going to turn the water on and make sure we didn't have any leaks seems so good do have the proper circuit setter for this unit, so the the incoming water is definitely colder than condenser water would be. Well, at the moment, it feels kind of warm. It's still, I'm sure, it's cold, uh, colder than condenser water, but it's all right. Full flow. Yeah, like I said, the yeah, sump pump station. Uh, like I said, the, this water is certainly colder than condenser water would be, but um, we can still determine, you know, uh, whether it's performing properly or not. Um, we're gonna start it in heating mode first. I have this room cooled off with the house air to about yeah, little, maybe 60 degrees or above. So it's chilly in here, relatively chilly. Um, as chilly as a suite would be, it was using heat mode. Uh, so we have the thermostat signals here all wired up together with the exception of the reversing valve. This is an O reversing valve, so uh, without, if it doesn't get 24 volts, it will be in heat mode. It's high voltage hooked up, and uh, so we'll turn this on. And this is where we get the pan and pouring all my rags into the thing. So we'll wait for the time delay to kick on and see how she does in the heating mode. So our incoming water temp is about 71 and some change. And I have it definitely uh, slowed down past full flow. I'm not sure uh, if those circuit setters are only effective at, to a certain pressure um, or what. But uh, in any event, I have the water, because I think the condenser water would be warmer than that even on a, on a winter's day. Uh, there's always some areas that are still air conditioning even in winter. Uh, so, uh, so this is probably less water flow than it would normally see. And as that that line is getting pretty cold, the water outlet there. And the heat output doesn't seem that good though, to be honest with you. Turn temps about 73 and some change, 74. Yeah, we're only getting about a 12 degree split right now.
kicked up the water for a bit. Yeah, so seven seven point two amps to be full full coverage there, so we'll check that out. Or full uh, full amperage, full load amps. Five. Six. Yeah, I suppose it's putting out decent heat. It might just be a little less efficient in heating mode. A little north of 95, 96 maybe. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, I just need a second to warm up, I guess. Alright, heating mode seems to be a go. We got max water flow on the cooling. Yeah, I bet you that circuit setter gets overcome at a certain pressure, or can be. I think we can uh, safely say this machine is uh, still good to be good for service, I would say. Um, we have a repair to do on the condensate drain because someone saws all that off instead of just unscrewing the connection. So yeah, put a new female adapter in there, but uh, should be good to go. Thanks for watching.